Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Thursday, April 7th, 2022. My name's Jennifer Cotton, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas, and that means I teach people how to stamp. Um, oh, I just totally lost my little speech there. Stamp and make projects like cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. It flew right out of my head. Um, <laughs> I've been doing that for 20 years now, so this is my full-time job. And so if you're watching this video, thank you very much. That helps me over on YouTube and on Facebook. So thank you for watching. If you um, would like to make a comment on the video, then that will help me as well. So that will get you entered to win the four cards I'm going to make today with the uh, Crane of Fortune bundle. So that is this stamp set along with dies, but most of my dies are in this, well, they're in two places. But anyway, you will see them when I make the cards. So you'll have a chance to win those four cards just by commenting on the video on either platform. And first up this morning was Pam Simmons. Good morning. Thank you for sharing, Pam. And then we had um, Susan and Evelyn. Good morning. And then I have to look over at my screen now. <laughs> um, in addition to those ladies, Betty, good morning. Yay. Hello, stamping friends. She says hello to Mary Ann and Pat. Good morning. Thank you for sharing, Pat and Betty. Good morning. Let's see. It says Facebook user. Um, Susan says she has the designer paper, but not the bundle. Cool. Um, Cindy shared. Thank you, Cindy and Susan. Linda in Washington State. Good morning. Thank you for being here. And Debbie and Helen. Good morning, everybody. Cindy, good morning. Jean in North Dakota. Scrolling down here, Jennifer, good morning. Hey, Shirley, thanks for sharing. Um, okay, so as you come on, say hi. Even if you're watching replay, you have a couple of weeks to get entered into my drawings to win those cards. So you can still do that on YouTube and Facebook. And then if you share the video, make sure that you comment that you shared because that's a second entry. Um, and of course, you can just share it by clicking the button on either path platform and then following their instructions to share the video that shows it to other people, which of course helps me as well. And then um, also, of course, you can subscribe, you can follow, click the like button, thumbs up, all that stuff. It's all helpful. So thank you very much. Hey, Cynthia in Arlington. Thanks for sharing, Cindy. And good morning. Hey, Charlotte. Good to see you and Janet. Good morning. Okay. So I'm going to tell you all about all my events. Like I said, I do this full time. So I offer lots of events that anyone can take in the United States. They're all offered to go. Some are offered in person or where you can check out the supplies from me. So we're going to look at a graphic real quick about my events. So at the top, you see all of my events include a PDF tutorial. Everything's going to be cut, die cut, punched, embossed that we possibly can. You will cut your own designer paper or kit component if that's included with the fee. Of course, PDF tutorial with measurements um, offered in the U.S. And most of them, you can take PDF tutorials only. The monthly classes that are coming up in April are offered in person in DeSoto, Texas to go where you can just stamp at home with your own supplies or you can check out my supplies from me and stamp at your home. So I'm going to talk about those monthly classes first. There are four of them to choose from every single month. Um, actually, all four are also a club you can join. So you can always contact me for info on that. The first one is my card class. You're going to make four cards free with a $20 order. So basically, I have an online ordering special every month, but if you want to get even more cards from me, you can place a separate order to get another card kit from me. Um, I may be demonstrating these cards on a video next week, but I don't know yet for sure. So I can't guarantee that, but I'm using Cactus Cuties to make four cards 
in this card class, you can come take it in person to go check out the supplies for me. So let me show you last month's card class. And I did show these on a, like I demonstrated on a video, but it was the Hello Ladybug bundle. So we made these four cards that were free with a, a purchase. And of course, some people took in person, some to go, et cetera, et cetera. So that was the Ladybug. Cactus Cuties, I think is going to be just as cute, but we shall see what I come up with. Um, and you want to register for that by April 21st. And then the these events happen in person on April 23rd. That's a Saturday in DeSoto. Or starting April 23rd, you can pick up your packets from me. Or if you chose them to be mailed, they get mailed on April 25th. I do combine shipping. So for all four of these, you would only pay one shipping cost because they get mailed at the same time. Let me set these cards down. Okay, so that's that one. Next is scrapbook class. You're going to make three 12 by 12 pages for $15 free with a $20 order, just like card class. Same deadline, sign up by the 17th, class is the 23rd, yes. And um, I don't have those pages made yet either, but I'll show you last month. I, I really like the pages we made. So we made this, this page two of, a, we always do two page layouts, but you might make the next one the following month. And this was page one. And then we made this page two our, from our spring pages. Trying to hold that right. My camera's focusing weird. Um, and this was page one we made the previous month in February. And then we made those in March. And now in April, we'll make three new pages. So I hope that makes sense. They are 12 by 12. If you take it to go, you do get the 12 by 12 piece mailed to you. Pieces, I should say. And um, they, the themes this month are going to be Mother's Day and birthday. I always make the Mother's Day, you know, it can just be a nice feminine page. It doesn't have to say Happy Mother's Day because I know not everyone needs those. And then we'll do just a fun birthday page with Party Puffins and Biggest Wish. So, and I believe, mm, no, I think they both carried over, so we're safe. Um, and then on the birthday one, we'll make page two of that in April. I mean, in May. So hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, if you want to sign up, let me know. Sign up for my email newsletter. You'll get all these email, these links emailed directly to you to register for my events. Um, and an email's going out at one o'clock today. So you can go to my blog. I don't have the blog up here yet, but it will be later. It's stamptherapist.com. And you can sign up for my email newsletter there, or it'll be posted in this video later. All right, let me check these comments. I see, let me see, Susan, hello. Hey, Pat. Hey, Terry. Good morning. Um, Liz and Seal, good morning. Hey, Stella. Hey, Veronica. Becky, good morning. Robin says, good morning, sunshine. Let me see. You can watch on YouTube at work, but not on Facebook. Yay. I'm glad that YouTube option is helpful to some people for different reasons, right? Um, I see it. one says Facebook user. Good morning. <laughs> so if I miss you, it might be because you're named Facebook user. Um, Sarah, good morning. It might be you, Sarah, which I don't know what causes that. I have two different platforms I'm looking at here. Um, Jackie, good morning. Judy, hello. Hey, Cindy, you're in Texas. Yay. I saw that you arrived Sunday, I believe. Um, awesome. Okay, so good morning, everybody. All right, the next two classes are priced differently, but they are my monthly classes, same dates, different deadline. Register by April 17th, in person April 23rd, mailed April 25th. We have Sampler which is going to be a nice sort of naturey masculine, it doesn't have to be masculine, but it could be if you need that theme with the On the Horizon bundle. A sampler is a 12 by 12 piece of art that you can frame. This is, um, I don't think that's the one we just did, but let me grab, I heard a sound. <laughs> this is the one we just did, our spring sampler last month. Sorry, I have tons of lights in here. 
Um, so you frame it like this in a 12 by 12 shadow box. I love these from Walmart. I have a link to them on my blog. And then you can give it away as a gift. You can um, put it in your home. You don't have to have a ton of frames. You just change out the design every month, every week, however often you want. So it's a great, uh, it's just awesome. Like you can have your house be seasonal that way or your craft room or whatever you like. So on the horizon, it's the one with all the nature scenes that are kind of abstract in the designer paper, as well as of course there's a stamp set and dies and all that that match. So this class is $28. It includes over $20 in merchandise and uh, everything cut, die cut, punch we possibly can. For example, the month we did this one, we die cut the rainbow out here. We die cut this for you and embossed it. Um, we die cut these rainbows. We die cut happy. We die cut this little cloud. So we do as much work as we can, mainly so that if you don't own those dies, it'll be done for you. And then if there's something you need to stamp and then assemble, you'll do that. Your um, stamp and then die cut out. You'll do that yourself because you can hand cut it out as well. Anyway, anyway, so it's a great deal. 28 bucks, over 20 in merchandise. And we do all that work for you and you get a PDF tutorial. So if you um, want to take that class, you can either take the class as a one-time purchase or you can, what happened? You can, um, sign up for the club, the link, both links will be in the email. Uh, both links will be in this video, not both, but anyway, all the info is in the emails or the video links, and you can just contact me as well. Uh, once you join the club, you can cancel anytime, so you don't have to stay in, but if you stay in for six consecutive months, you get $25 of your choice in free merchandise from me. Next up is the Crane of Fortune Stamp-A-Stack. So guess what? I'm making those cards today. So you will actually see what this class is. I'm going to explain it fully in my stamping demonstration, but I'm using Crane of Fortune. It's a gorgeous stamp set. And um, you're going to make 12 cards for $30. You're going to get $25.90 in product <laughs> um, for $30 plus 12 cards plus a PDF tutorial. Like it's a great deal. Every month you can take this class. Every month you can take all these classes. And um, again, this one is a club or a single class, just like I just described. Hey, Vivi, good to see you. Hey, Kathy, thank you for sharing. Miriam, good morning. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. Hey, did I say hi to Kathy? Yes, thank you for sharing. Um, all right, I think I caught everybody that has said, oh wait, no. Amy. Hello, Amy. Good to see you. It's been a little while, right? Amy's on YouTube. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Um, okay, so those are the four monthly classes. Now I'm going to talk about other events that are maybe don't happen every month. So the first one is my very exciting event I'm doing with Alejandra at the end of this month. It's happening on April 30th. I have, um, no, maybe I didn't print anything. Anyway, April 30th um, on Facebook, you do not need to be present. That's fine. You can watch replay. We just had our awesome otters event. Lots of people couldn't be there in person. That doesn't matter. That's totally fine. And you just watch the videos later, but we will be demonstrating 10 cards that you're going to make with the friendly hello stamp set and designer paper. This class includes $27 in merchandise in addition to the free items, 10 cards, a PDF tutorial and the Facebook party with video instructions. So Alejandra has made her cards. They're super cute and she's in the process of mailing hers to me. I've made two of my five. So I'm gonna give you a sneak peek because I think they're really cute. They're so cute. Um, of course, we're going to die cut or in, for my class, we'll die cut what we can for you. You will stamp and assemble with half a pack of this designer paper, which is completely free. This isn't even added into the class fee. So this is the friendly hello. This is retired. You cannot get it anymore. You get a half a pack. This exactly right here. 
you will cut your own designer paper because it's included with the fee. We cut everything else. Um, you're going to get some rhinestones. You're going to get a wink of Stella. You're going to get a roll of ribbon, the 10 cards, the PDF, the Facebook party, and where is it? The stamp set. I think I didn't bring it over here. Hold on. I'm still literally designing. Where is it? Right here. Um, this table to my right is a hot mess of stuff. But anyway, this stamp set's free. The designer paper's free. And then you get all this other stuff as well, plus the 10 cards. Half designed by Alejandra, half designed by me. My light is flashing over here. It's like trying to burn out. If it looks like my face is like in a horror movie. Um, so that class is, let me see my notes here. You want to register by April 17th. Today is the 7th. So you have 10 days to register. And again, it happens on April 30th. I will mail your kits. I don't know if I have it here. Yes, by April 25th. Okay. So you should sign up for this. And like I said, Alejandra's cards are awesome, but I don't physically have them here yet. And then when you register for that class, if you want, you can add on another awesome class where you're going to get a free half a pack of this retired Sunshine and Rainbows designer paper. This is a full pack, so you'll get half of that. It's a full one is 48 sheets. So what's that? 24 sheets you're going to get free. You're going to use the Kite Delight stamp set. And Alejandra and I actually changed the stamp set we were using about three times. This is like the third one we landed on due to stuff selling out on the retired list. I think she agrees that we are very happy it ended up being Kite Delight because these cards came out so cute. So these are mine. You're going to make eight cards in this class. Um, but Alejandra's are adorable as well, of course, and hers are on her way to me as well. So I'll have them soon, but I don't have them yet. So this class, you're going to make eight cards. And if you already registered and you want to add it on, just let me know and we'll fix it. Um, you're going to make eight cards. You're going to get the stamp set with the fee, but don't worry. You can substitute if you already have it or don't want it. Um, you're going to get oh some Baker's Twine, eight projects. I don't have the math here, but anyway, it's like a lot of dollars in product, <laughs> however many dollars, um, and eight projects. So you can add that on when you register. Limited number of kits available due to us having our stock of these products. So you can register for that now through April 17th. Okay, next up, the May Retreat in a Box. This one is, oh, we've seen the new catalog. So April and I got to decide what we're using for this Retreat in a Box. So I just have it here so you can see it bold. The theme for the retreat to go or in person, actually, is the Hues of Happiness Suite. I just showed this on my video yesterday showing all my new product. It's a gorgeous suite with all this floral and like rainbow, bold colors, designer paper. And then um, that retreat in a box includes over... Um, at least 10 make and takes, $50 in merchandise. It's really more than 50 because that's before tax and shipping. An exclusive bag, gifts, um, and of course the PDF tutorial. And if you add on these classes, you don't pay extra shipping. Now, the two classes we're offering are the Sun Prince Stamp a Stack, 12 cards. It, this class includes over 35 in merch. And then the He's the Man class which again includes over 35 in merchandise. You can add on the stamps and bundles when you register, of course. And let me quickly show these products because I went, I showed them sheet by sheet yesterday on that video. So just go check that out. Um, but our retreat theme is this Hues of Happiness, Hues, what is it called? Yes, Hues of Happiness Suite which is the Happiness Abounds bundle and the gorgeous Hues of Happiness designer paper. <clears throat> now, of course, we're going to include a lot of other product with your class fee for this, um, with your goodie bag, I should say. So that's that one. Sandy, I'm glad you like it on YouTube. Thank you very much. And hey, Elizabeth. 
Okay, so that's the that product. Like I said, I show it in more detail on the video. And then the Sun Prints class. This paper is gorgeous. The Sun Prints designer paper. Um, again, showed it on the video. It's so pretty. And then there's the Nature Prints bundle that I'll be using for the Stampa Stack and this fern embossing folder. So that's that class. And you can take with this one, only one class, only the other class, only the retreat or mix and match any way you want. And then finally, April's class is the He's the He's the Man Suite. And it's called, he, the bundle is called He's All That. I went through this paper yesterday. You're going to love it. I'm sure her projects are going to be awesome. These dies are awesome. They're all like labels and stuff. There's some embellishments there. Um, so that will be our, the other class with the retreat. Okay. You can register for all of this stuff so far now. The registration links are out. Hey, Cindy, good morning. Okay. Next is, I need to mark this. Yes. Turn the page. Uh, just a reminder, I'm going to, because this is in a weird order on my notes here, the, that retreat, the May, I guess I should give you deadlines. The May retreat in a box, you want to register by May 1st and it's mailed by May 20th. Um, you can also take that in person in Temple, Texas, and you get all the same stuff, but you also get like food and a bed and a table and shared supplies and all that. So anyway, um, then I have another new event, um, many exciting events coming up. This is my stamp camp. I believe my fourth stamp camp with Genevieve Co. She's a Canadian demonstrator. So you can take this one. If you live in Canada, you just register through Genevieve and we actually will be in in St. George, Utah during this event online with a demonstrator group. And so we're calling it the Girls Getaway Stamp Camp, although it is to go. So you're going to get away at your own house. <laughs> but um, the Girls Getaway Stamp Camp, the camp is using the Cup of Tea Bundle, which we show again, I showed yesterday on my video. Um, you're getting $40 in merchandise, 10 projects, a gift, exclusive Facebook group where we kind of do a party all day. Now, we don't demonstrate the cards on this one. We do a Facebook party, PDF tutorial, and a bonus video of projects on that party. Um, and you get an, an additional gift if you register for all three of these. So that's a stamp camp. And then... I will be offering a bottled happiness card class and Genevieve will be offering the sweet songbirds, I believe card class as well. And you can take one, two or all three of those. So you just click on the link and you select what you want. You can add on the bundles if needed. You can substitute the stamp sets if we're including those, all that stuff. So let me just quickly show this cup of tea, which there's actually a lot more to this suite than what I have here. Is that right set up? Um, but just to quickly give you a visual of this adorable cup of tea products, um, which I actually didn't like too much when I first saw it. And then now I do. Um, watching my video yesterday, I was trying to catch up on the comments and I saw one that I had said I didn't think that was a die for this tag. And then someone said it is and I see it now. It's hidden in this cup. So there's a large tag die. It is there. And someone else asked another question that I saw too late to even figure out for this video, but I'm going to figure out the answer and answer it. And it's with that hues of happiness stuff. They asked if the dyes cut out the flowers in the designer paper. So I'll be taking a look at that. Okay. This is bottled happiness for my card class with Genevieve. You can, again, anyone can take these in the U S and Canada. I have Genevieve's link in my documents. Um, even if you click my link just to get her link, you can do that. But anyway, and then hers is Sweet Songbirds. Super cute. And those are add-on classes or you can take those separately as well. Okay. I can kind of move some of the stuff. I have a lot of things in front of me today. Um, so any questions on those, let me know. St. George is beautiful. You went to college in Cedar City. Um... Awesome. Yes, Sarah. So Sarah, we have been to St. George 
several times because Stampin' Up! used to have this thing called Founder Circle. And it was for the top 100 demonstrators in the company every year. And they did it in St. George, Utah. Well, they discontinued that. <laughs> and um, so several demonstrators were like, let's just get, you know, who wants to get together, pay your own hotel room, pay your airfare, and we'll, you know, stay together for three or four days. Um, so I definitely have been a, done some exploring. I'm not super adventurous. I did zip line there. It was terrifying. Um, pretty, but terrifying. And I've done like, a, I forgot what they're called, but um, some kind of tour there where it was like caves almost with sand and all that. Um, so she's right. It's gorgeous. They're uh, definitely a cool vacation spot. Plus they have like all this artsy stuff, like art district kind of deal. And they were even filming a movie there when we were there last time. So um, it's pretty cool. I agree, Sarah. Um, okay. Sorry, Lori. <clears throat> which kit set? Is it a separate class? I'm not sure which kit you're asking about. So if you can clarify, but probably it is. Oh, the kite. Maybe you're saying kite. It does say kite. So the kite is currently offered only as an add-on, but we may, I may offer it separately as well. So just, um, I'll make a note to contact you. Lori Paul Kite. Yeah. But currently it's an add-on. It's super cute. Okay. Let me see. Re oh, coming soon is my paper share, my designer paper and ribbon share from the new catalog. So I showed a lot of those new products yesterday on the video. Basically, I showed everything I was able to order. Um, but there's a lot more. There's like at least 12 new designer papers, plus a bunch of specialty papers and several new ribbons. So if you want a sampling of all of those, you will want to join my paper shares um, and ribbon share. And we offer a party along with it that's optional where you get make and takes and a Facebook party and we demonstrate all the cards, etc. I do this with Alejandra. So Alejandra and I are putting the final touches on our pricing. We want to make sure it's a good share for you, that you get good chunks of samplings at a decent price. So we're putting the final, link, final touches on that, and we will get that registration out link soon. Um, but that's a great way if you, it would cost well over $150 to $200 to purchase all those packs individually. This way you can just get a sampling for a much lower cost. And uh, same with the ribbon. So that info will be coming soon. And then I already mentioned our in-person retreats that I do with April in May and August. You can come hang out with us in person for a full weekend in Temple, Texas. It's uh, Thursday through Sunday. It's, although some people arrive on Friday, it includes your meals. You get a bed. Yes, you might share a bathroom and the bedroom with some other people as well. It's like a camp or like a ladies retreat. And um, but you will get your meals. You'll get a full table to yourself. You'll have optional classes you can take at the retreat. You will have supplies of April mine you can use, make and takes, goodie bag, gifts, etc. It's awesome. So any questions on that, let me know. And, and those links will be sent out in the email at one o'clock as well. Don't forget about the cruise. Our 2023 cruise is currently sold out. You can get on the waiting list. It's in January 2023 out of Galveston, Texas. But the, the January 2024 cruise on Harmony of the Seas out of Galveston, Texas has spots available. You can have a very long time to pay that off if you register now. It's a crafting cruise, but anyone can go. They don't have to craft. They can, you can take the crafting portion and they can not take the crafting portion. And then they get our group rate, which is always going to be cheaper than any Royal Caribbean special. That one is January 28th, 2024 out of Galveston, Texas. So sign up now. Okay. Paper pumpkin. We still are um, in the, April paper pumpkin sales period. <laughs> yes, I think I said that correctly. Oh, I don't have a paper pumpkin kit over here. Hmm, do I have an old one? 
No. Okay, so what it is, is our monthly subscription boxes. The theme for this month in April, subscribe by April 10th, is going to be Change is Beautiful. You can see there's a butterfly there in the Stampin' Up! little sneak peek. It is going to um, create nine stunning cards with a unique fold folding technique to commemorate moments of change. Um, it's going to include a Melon Mambo ink spot, so a little one-inch ink pad a stamp set, all the supplies to make the nine cards, instructions, printed card bases, printed envelopes, printed shape die cuts, iridescent sea glass, and dimensionals. So you basically have everything you need in that kit except one clear block. You just add a clear block. Um, you can, it's twenty three fifty, and you can subscribe by April 10th and get it every month until you cancel. You can cancel anytime. It's always a surprise like that sneak peek you saw is the most of a sneak peek we have this month, I believe. And um, or you can just go to my website and purchase it as a one time purchase. So you would go to shop products, other products, kits dash paper pumpkin, and you would find pre paid subscriptions there. Basically, I want one month worth three, six, or 12 months worth. And then you pay it one time. It's not recurring. Either one will get you the kit, but you got to do it by April 10th and follow all the instructions and do the, the registration form for it. And it's $23.50, like I said. You do save a little money if you subscribe because the $23.50 includes shipping. If you go to my website and do prepaid, it's that price plus shipping. So you save money if you subscribe and you can cancel or even put it on hold at any time. Okay, so today, um, what's going on with Stampin' Up? We have our retiring list still going on. Uh, we're getting ready for our new catalog to release. So this awesome current catalog has a ton of stuff in it that is retiring and will no longer be available once it's sold out. Everything on that list is while supplies last. Many, many, many stamp sets have sold out. I believe the only in color retiring ink refill left is cinnamon cider. I believe all the other ones sold out. The in color markers sold out. Stamp sets though are flying off the shelves like hotcakes. So if there is a stamp set in this book that is retiring and you wanna purchase it, purchase it now. <laughs> They're selling out so fast. And you can view the retiring list on my blog. Um, if you'll just scroll down to the blog post that is, you know, retiring list, whatever I called it, you'll find that list with pictures and sale prices. Many of the items are discounted as well. So that's going on right now. You want to get those while you can. May 2nd is the last day of the current catalog. Yep, May 2nd. And then our new catalog you cannot purchase from yet unless you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I talked all about this on my video yesterday. But if you are a demonstrator, there's select items, a bunch of select items you can purchase now at our discount, of course. Um, or you can join and get our starter kit. Join my team, be a stamp therapist. And let me see if you can see my shirt. I'm too short. Stamp therapist. <laughs> um, join my team and... For 99 bucks plus tax only free shipping that's a big savings you get 125 in anything you want including the pre-order items so those are kind of some specials going on right now oh i do have a correction uh, about what i said on this retiring catalog last week um and i'm gonna see if i can find them there are two products let me see if i marked it they are retiring, but, oh, let me say this properly. Mm, I don't think I marked it. Um, what I told you is there are several bundles that the bundle pricing is going away, but you can still get the two individual products in the new catalog. Two products, that was not true. This one, so in the new catalog, you will be able to get beauty of friendship 
stamp set, but not these dies, which are amazing. I don't know why they made that decision, but you won't be able to get the, um, what are they called? Beautiful trees dies on page 158. They're while supplies last. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to see if I marked it in the back. 158 beauty of friendship tree dies. Um, and then there was one more and my friend Chris is the one who told me, she was like, you know, FYI. <laughs> um, but now I can't remember which one it was. So anyway, you want to really pay attention to that retiring list for things like that. I'm trying to see if I can quickly find my other handwritten note that says dies, not carrying over. Here we go. It's this one. This is the other one that I said wrong last week. So you will be able to get inspired thoughts, but the dyes, which are called inspired, I'm sorry, they're called inspiring canopy dyes, will not be available there while supplies last. So a mistake I made, hopefully, I mean, I believe they're both still available, so you're good to go if you want those, but not bundle pricing in the new catalog because those dyes will not be available. Um, <laughs> Amy, of course, you should be allowed to go on a retreat this summer. Come to August. All of your friends will be there. Yes, Amy. Um, or at least come to a class. If not, ask me which class the most people will be there. Or come check us out at a team meeting. Um, hello, Martha. Good to see you. Let me see here. Okay, and I see it says interested in the kite class two, but just FYI, it doesn't show me your name. So feel free to message me on Facebook Messenger if you guys don't have my email or tech, you know, cell phone number. Um, because uh, it's not giving me a name there. It just says Facebook user interested in class as well. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm not seeing a lot of y'all's comments, but hello to Mary and Lori, Julie, Julie saying hi to Landa as well. So hello, Landa. I may have missed you on here. Um, hey, Deb, Julie, thank you for sharing and good morning. Kim, hello. I'm trying to catch up here. Um, so I know Lori asked about the kite class, but someone else commented. Hey, Chris, I was just telling about the corrections you gave me last week on that retiring list. Um, anyway, so, oh, good question. Facebook, again, it says Facebook user. So I don't know who this is. When will catalogs be available for customers? So I don't know who that is asking, meaning I don't know if I see you all the time or what, but, um, these catalogs I have selected to mail to my long distance customers through Stampin' Up!, so you can always ask me, hey, Jennifer, did you send me a catalog? And I can check my report in case I made a mistake because that's very possible. Um, it's basically my long distance customers that have ordered in the last six months who told me, who didn't tell me, don't mail me one. I'm a demonstrator. Um, and then local customers, I'm going to have them available this coming week for you to pick up. If I miss you like if again if you're long distance and i missed you on my list then i will mail you one myself so just contact me i will check my list through stampin up and i can mail you one so this coming week aka i'm waiting for them to arrive from stampin up from ups i should say <laughs> so hopefully that answers your questions oh susie okay yeah it's showing on your facebook that it's you um i just a quick side note. I'm going to write Susie here with Lori. I am using a service called StreamYard. And I maybe if you don't give StreamYard permission, which it's no big deal if you want to give them permission, like it's just a streaming service. It's totally awesome. That might be why it's not showing names, but I don't know. Or maybe if you're logged in weird or something, who knows? I'm not very... <laughs> smart with all that stuff. Um, let's see. Good morning, Kim and Mary in Montana. Good to see you guys. All right. So let's, I want to point my camera down, but I have a hot mess down there because 
y'all hear the yard work outside? I intended to show a couple of things from my recent team gathering at the beginning of the video and I didn't. So now they're in my way here. So I think I'll show those and I can point the camera down and then we can get started. Okay. So we had a team gathering this past weekend and it was, Hey Della, thanks for sharing. No problem being late. Of course. Um, we gathered together to watch a Stampin' Up! virtual event. Um, so it was kind of like our team meeting for the month instead of our regular team meeting. I don't know how loud that is on the camera. I mean, on the video, but somebody is like weed eating out there. Yay. Pat said her catalogs came yesterday. Yeah. So I'm sure mine are coming. Landa had a delayed order, like where UPS delayed it. And I think that's what happened to my catalogs too. I think they got delayed, um, which of course we know that kind of stuff's going on right now. Okay. So we did a card swap. We got some amazing card swaps. Of course, these are always optional. Some people mail them in because they're not local. Um, but the, And then everyone at the meeting gets to vote. So this was our winner. Is that not amazing? Look how many waves she had to cut for every card she made. This is that new waves um, product. And then it's like a little, it stands up. It's like a tent card. And she has a greeting on the back. So that was amazing. Kim, I don't necessarily know who made all of these. Um, that's a swap. So everyone who participated got one of these back. Perk of being on the team. Um, this gorgeous one is from uh, Maryland and it is a brand new stamp set that I showed on my video yesterday. I forgot the name. Artistic something maybe. But look how gorgeous that is. So if you didn't like that set when I showed it, maybe you like it now because that's a gorgeous card, Marilyn. And it is... Um, or she got that early due to registering for this Stampin' Up! event. And then Betsy did this one. It's got heat embossing. It's gorgeous. It's the, the um, what is this stuff called? Oh, no, I'm going to blank out on that name too. But it's in the mini catalog currently. And it's all the sports stuff. The Hey Sports Fan, I believe it's called. Then we have this gorgeous thing. It's got, like, embossing on this either crushed curry or bumblebee cardstock here. It's a belly band card and it's a pop-up. Can y'all like say I have talented stampers on my team? Yes, I do. <laughs> and they um, like when I'm glad I don't have to vote is what I'm going to say on who's the best card because or the favorite card because it is hard to pick. This one's from Jen. I love this style, <laughs> the Z fold with the waves stuff. That's not even my yard. It's so loud. This one's from Christine. Super cute. That stamp set's going to be retiring. It's so cute. This is the, see, I don't have a name on this one. This is the Inspire, what is it called? Please stop weed eating outside of my garage door while I'm doing a video. <laughs> This is the On the Horizon bundle stuff. Isn't that gorgeous? And then Dorothy made this one. It is a awesome pop-up kind of card. That's that Flowing fl Flowers, I believe, stamp set that I used a while back on a video. So cute. So pretty. Uh, I don't have a name on this one. But this is the new jar stamp set, the one that I'll be using for that class coming up. But she made it, mixed it with a current set of all about cocktails. Pretty cool. Um, this is a fun fold with, this. these are the tulips, but isn't that awesome how she used different colors? She basically used the waves of inspiration designer paper. This is Martha. Um, and so the flower is blue, which for me, that's the first one I've seen not in the traditional colors with this set. And then it's a fun fold that opens on an angle. How can I show that? <laughs> anyway, it's just got a diagonal score mark there and it opens like that. So then it's all going the right direction. Last but not least, this one's gorgeous too. Mary Ann. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
Okay, so yes, as someone said you have a talented team. Yes, Lori, I agree. Um, Sarah says so creative. Um, hey, Kathy, that is cool that you're at Peggy's house hanging out. Awesome. Hey, Ramona on YouTube. Good to see you. Um, and Susan said very pretty cards. And then so everybody at this event, pretty much, I don't know if everybody did, but pretty much everybody brought each other a gift. So I got this is all combined for different people. Um, this awesome tin hand sanitizer. Thank you to one of our nurses, a bunny bag. And again, I don't know what I've thrown in <laughs> bags and I didn't eat any of the candy yet, but I was saving it until after this video. And then I'm going to pick out on this can candy. Um, and then I put all my other gifts in this other bag, which I believe this bag is from Pat, but um, I got a bright cute canvas bag, a bag full of candy, which I'm really excited to eat this almond um, chocolate. What's that called? Carrot. This was the gift I gave, just some candy, but I use that new stamp set. Some candy. Uh, look, the windmill cookies with the tulip stuff. A bag full of candy. I'm so excited to eat all this candy now. Jelly beans. A clean baggie to put the jelly beans in because she said when you open that package, it. Um, oh, hold on. This one is the. Okay, it's my name on it with the windmill. She said when you open that bag, the jelly beans like to fly everywhere. A gorgeous pin in a gorgeous handmade box. I'm so excited to use all this stuff. Well, the candy just fell out, but a cute little Easter basket with candy inside and a ton of candy and a seed packet because that was um, from Martha for us to use on our make and takes. That's from Landa. Thank you, team. So we have an awesome team. Uh, if you want more info about my team and joining, just let me know. And this was just, for, there was 18 of us total. I think 17 because one couldn't make it. Out of 17 people, I got all of this stuff and everybody got this stuff. It wasn't just me. So thank you. Thank you. Very excited to have a snack after this video. Um, I'm going to point the camera down now so that we can get started with everything else. Um, everything was all scrunched up due to everything I had spread out over here and I'm going to use this tub on my video today. So uh, I do want to remind you about my online ordering special, which is, oh, Peggy is at Kathy's house. <laughs> That's just because I'm reading while I'm trying doing a video, like my brain doesn't work very well. Uh, I think that Susie says I like the tag Facebook user. <laughs> Okay, um, so I have on the screen now my host code for April 1st through 15th. If you place an order, go to my website, click shop now. Thank you very much for your orders. This is my full-time job <laughs> and all the products I'm using are available to purchase. Um, if your order is $25 or more with that host code, you're going to receive a class packet to make these four cards. Now, I normally show these cards on a video every month. Like, I make them on a video. I don't think I'm going to do that this month because um, I've already demonstrated with this stamp set on a different video. So, get a good look. There are the four cards. This one is a fun fold. We've got a belly band and an embellishment there, and then we'll stamp the inside of the card. Of course, we'll score that for you. And I've got something attached to the back of their notes for when we cut these. Um, you will receive the pre-cut designer paper, of course, like everything else that will be pre-cut, um, even though that paper is retiring and could sell out. So you're gonna get the class packet. Everything's gonna be die cut punched, die cut, 
and embossed possible. And then you will stamp and assemble with the Waves of Inspiration stamp set slash bundle. Like for example, you would die cut out your Pelican image after you stamp it with these dies or hand cut it if you only have the stamp set. Okay, so that's free with a $25 online order in April. April 1st through 15th, if your order is 50 or more, you also get a free full roll of denim ribbon, which is goes so well with this suite, with this gorgeous designer paper. And then the entire month, if you have an online order of $100 or more, in addition to my gifts, you're going to receive a free calming camellia stamp set. This is a gorgeous red rubber stamp set that is retired now. And you will get that free on top of everything else if your order is 100 or more. And then, like always, if your order is $150 or more, don't use that host code. Just leave it off. And then at the end of your ordering, Stampin' Up! will prompt you to choose at least $15 in free merchandise. And um, what am I trying to say? And I'll still give you all my gifts. Okay, so today's cards are using the Crane of Fortune bundle, and it is bundled with a set of dies, but most of my dies are not in this packet right now, the Good Fortune dies. They're distributed, and you'll see them as I demonstrate today. There's a die that cuts out the crane and the flowers, and this floral image right there, the dragonflies. There's a single just decorative flower die. Um, and then there are two little flower dies here that I'll show when we get to that part. In addition, I am using the Happy and Heartfelt stamp set to be able to have additional greetings. This is also my stamp -a stack class for April. So you can take this class and make 12 cards instead of just the four I'm making. You make three of each. We cut, die cut, punch, emboss. You stamp and assemble. And um, so I wanted additional greeting options. And for the people taking the class from me in person or stamping at home with this tub, I have additional greeting choices in there. Of course, if you're stamping at home, you can stamp anything you want, like if you're using your own supplies. But if you're using my supplies, I ask you, of course, use the color we labeled on here so that my ink pads don't get junky. So you'll see those choices today. All right, so everything I need besides my cardstock is in this bucket. And this is what you would pick up if you were borrowing my supplies. So you see the dies are in there. We got a silicone sheet, got adhesive, et cetera. Um, so I'm gonna, going to get started and make our first card. Oh, and this class includes $25.90 in merchandise, including the symbols, a half a pack of symbols of fortune designer paper. I think full, I can't remember now because I don't have my notes, but you're going to get some polished dots, which I've pre-colored these for this video, and some silk, some satin soft succulent ribbon. So, $25.90 in merchandise. The class is $30. You can register now for this class. Let me just show the symbols of fortune. I have a note here. <laughs> it's for my instructions for the class when I go type those up. So just ignore that. This paper has gold foiling on one side. It is gorgeous. It, of course, has some cranes on it. It has some sort of Asian style images, but it's just gorgeous, whatever style you like. There's like some bamboo type, more cranes with the gold and just some pretty flowers there. So that is the symbols of fortune designer paper. Uh, it, this is the kind of class where because you get half a pack, you will cut your own designer paper, but mine is cut for my demonstration today to save time. Oh, and I believe you're getting half a pack of this gorgeous Mother of Pearl paper. Look at that. It's so pretty. And I'll be using that on some cards today, too. Again, I pre-cut mine, but you would cut your own because you're getting a sheet of that. Okay. 
This yard work is getting on my nerves, y'all. Tell me if you can hear it. It's so loud. Uh -uh. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to jump in with my stamping. The first card is the simplest card. I'm reading a note. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, I do know what it means. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the simplest card. So we have our card base, basic white, half sheet of eight and a half by 11. So it's five and a half by eight and a half. And I always intend to fold that in half at the beginning and set it aside unless I'm doing a fancy fold. So I just fold it or I align it on the table, not up in the air, because when you put it, put it down, it can shift. And then I fold with the bone folder very firmly, and that will make the crease on the inside less wrinkled. And then usually we set that aside. And then again, you're going to cut your designer paper. So we're using this piece that <clears throat> is soft succulent with like little scenes of a crane and some greenery and like a moon and a little mountain behind him and some flying cranes. Uh, we're cutting that. This is a portrait style card to four inches by five and a fourth. Then I have just a piece of this other design from Symbols of Fortune that is, I'm using the side that's crumb cake with the white. Um, I just said what those were. The plant. <laughs> it's one and a half by four and a half. That word is out of my head. Yeah, we're going to come back to that word later. Um, and then I have a piece of basic white and soft succulent. The white is two and three fourths by three and three fourths, which means the succulent is three by four to mat on there. So we're just going to stamp on this white piece in the portrait direction. So out of my tub, I need to grab my stamps. I'm actually going to borrow Landa's stamp for this card. See my note? <laughs> but because I need, I'm stamping two cranes in two different colors today. But for me, uh, I will use the other one right now and clean it. Okay, so here is the one that will be in Smoky Slate. I don't know. It should be clean, but I don't know. Because I did make these cards and then put these away. There is a piece of glitter on there, so I need to remove that. Just clean that stamp just in case and stamp it in crumb cake. To match, of course, this crumb cake ink. I mean, paper, so everything matches and coordinates with Stampin' Up, as y'all know. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. I'm moving it around because it's a large image. I'm still not pressing hard enough to hopefully get ink on these edges. See, I still did a little bit, and that was from light tapping. And then the crane just basically goes in the center of this piece of basic white. And it is a distinctive stamp, so you're going to have light and dark, and that middle section right there, there is not an image that gets stamped. The first time I stamped it making these cards, I was like, oh, I missed a whole section of ink, but I didn't. That's just how the image is. It stamps beautifully, though. So there's that. Let me clean this off for that later card. And then... There is a stamp in this set that's like the little ground that the bird can be standing on, which of course you can combine that with many other stamp sets you own to make different things with that little image. It's kind of like just brush strokes as well. So I'm using soft succulent for that, but I wanted it to be lighter. So I'm going to ink it up like normal. Tap, tap, tap stamp it on scratch paper fully, and then stamp it right under the bird's feet. And sometimes I'm covering up part of that foot, and sometimes I'm below it. It's fine. However yours ends up. 
And then for the greeting on this one, I have two choices. Have, oh, here. That's my other sample. I need to see what my two choices are. <laughs> so they are being awesome is just your thing. See how it says evergreen? And then you matter to me. Evergreen, evergreen. You can choose which one you want. If you're in person, of course, to go stamp whatever greetings you want with your own stamps and ink. We just don't want to mix up our colors on my ink pads. So evening evergreen is a nice dark green that's also in this paper. And I'm going to put you matter to me on this one because my other sample has the first one. And it just goes right here in the, it's not really the center, but it's on top of the crane, um, sort of almost into the legs, but not quite. And this one, sorry, both of those greetings are from Happy and Heartfelt, which is just a cute cursive little font that I really like. They're like cute, but also fancy. Okay. <laughs> um, then I did think it was a little stark, although it might be okay, but a little bit stark white. So I have a sponge dauber labeled crumb cake. And we'll just grab that crumb cake ink pad and we will use this to sponge ink on the edges. So tap, tap, tap on your pad. You don't need, in my opinion, you do not need a ton of ink. I always hold my paper up in the air when I'm sponging like this and scrape along the edges. <laughs> this yard work is stressing me out. Um, rather than the difference would be laying it on the table and doing this. I feel like you get a different look that I don't like as much as the hold it in the air and scrape it on the edges. Obviously, the more ink you pick up and the more you put the sponge flat versus just the edge, you're going to get different looks on your paper. So I just like to almost hold the sponge perpendicular and scrape it there. But of course that look just is up to you, whatever you like. All right. I think that is what we need to do on stamping for this card. Like I said, this is the simplest card. And so then we're going to attach I'll use my stamp and seal this stamped white piece to the soft succulent piece flat and I will set that aside my actually um, okay so then the designer paper the small one and a half wide strip it's crumb cake goes over here toward the right and it's just like one of those things I don't usually do we're just layering designer paper on top of designer paper it's not a skinny border like I normally do it's just over here toward the right to add a layer behind all everything else that's going to be going on on this card now you want to pay attention when you make this one and not glue that down the designer paper down yet until you add the ribbon. And so I just have a strip of this ribbon. Mine's still on the roll here. Going across the front of the card. Let me check these comments. Bamboo, yes, Sue, so, my gosh. Whew, and Janet, I said bamboo earlier and then I the word went out of my head head okay amy good i'm glad thank you for telling me that noise isn't that bad because it's literally so loud in my ear <laughs> hey martha no problem thank you sarah okay i'm glad y'all can't hear it so i'll quit commenting on it but it's like distracting even if i was out here just stamping it's so loud but 
Good, y'all can't hear it, so we're done with that talk. Um, okay, so I'm just going to attach this across the front. The middle section is going to get covered up by this large piece of cardstock, so I will put a little adhesive on the front. I don't normally like to do that because I feel like you can see it. See how you can kind of see that bump right there? But you won't be able to see it because it's going to get covered up, so I'm fine. But normally I just attach my ribbon on the back of my cards like this. And then either way, when I glue this to my final project, I put adhesive on top of the ribbon as well to make it um, stick or to make it not pop out later. I need to straighten this one out on the front. Okay, so now we have our ribbon. I think that's a little crooked, but it's fine. And... I'm going to now attach this designer paper to the card base. Stamp and seal is very sticky. You don't need a ton of it when you're putting your projects together. And then my piece that says you matter to me with the awesome crane image is going to be attached with Stampin' Dimensionals. There will be dimensionals in the bucket for this one or at the live class. I think I will do three down each long side and one in the center. So seven dimensionals there. I use the minis, but you can use any size you like. And um, you can use as many as you like for your own projects when you're using your own supplies, of course. And then on this one, I believe this is the only card in this set that I colored these polished dots, which are, which are gorgeous. They are clear and then pink. Let me see what pink that is. I actually have this page opened. Number three, Calypso Coral and Very Vanilla, it says. It pretty much looks clear to me. <laughs> and Calypso Coral can definitely go with any, almost all of your pinks as well. It, it's a very light Calypso Coral. Um, but these polished dots are gorgeous. Um, what was I going to tell you about this? I don't remember. Okay, that's fine. I do want to point out that my catalog has an R next to these products, except for the soft succulent satin shimmer ribbon. They're not officially retiring yet, but they're not in the new catalog. <laughs> so we know when the retiring list officially starts for this book, these products are not carrying over. So I would get them now. No Crane of Fortune bundle, no Polished Dots, no Mother of Pearl, which is my saddest thing on this page. It's so gorgeous. And of course, the Symbols of Fortune designer paper. They're not while supplies last yet. That will happen probably in May. So be aware. Okay, so what I did, though, is um, I colored these clear dots with my dark soft succulent stamp and blend and i'm just going to use there's basically two sizes large and small so I'm, i used one large and two small so i'm just going to color one right now to save you a little bit of time always use the fine point when you color your embellishments it's much more sturdy and resistant to fraying than this brush tip end. So I have a note on here that says other end. <laughs> um, use the other end. If you want to fray a Stampin' Blend real fast, go ahead and firmly color one of these or any embellishment with it and that'll happen. Um, you can actually, another tip when you're coloring clear embellishments like this is you can let it dry for a minute and add a second layer if you want your embellishment darker. So I'm going to add the large polished dot down here in the bottom left of the white section and then the two small ones up here in the top 
left kind of because that's where the open white spots are and that's that finished card it's pretty simple definitely the most simple of the ones we're making but sometimes simple is nice just keep it simple <laughs> and i think the bird does all the work the the um stamped image of course you'll make three of these and with that class fee if you take the class okay so there is card number one yay card number two i think uh it's a tie between this one and the third one that are my two favorites of this class so this one is a card base of smoky slate so this designer paper has crumb cake and smoky slate in it so you can kind of do one color scheme or the other and I love the smoky slate color scheme. So five and a half, eight and a half smoky slate. Then I have a layer of basic white. I'll give that measurement in a second. And then the designer paper I used is the one that has the cranes, the large cranes on it in white with gold accents, gold foil, um, with a distressed smoky slate background. There's also some gold like plants, just, well, grass blades, basically, is what they look like, and dragonflies. So, and that's, this one is four by five and a fourth, and it's portrait. Then I have a scrap of basic white, a piece of basic, a smoky slate, I'll give you that measurement in a second, and then I have pre-die cut, which we will cut those for you, two Oh, there's more pieces. Okay. Anyway, two gold plant images from the dies. And then you'll have three pieces of smoky slate that are a little larger than the one for our greeting. They are one and one fourth by three inches. And they're all three the same. They're going to go on our card. One and a fourth by three. There's three of those. The greeting is three fourths of an inch by two and one fourth. That's also smoky slate. Then a scrap of white. Then the gold foil. Of course, that's our gold foil paper that, thank goodness, is in the catalog and still going to be in the catalog. But I will show you. It's just 12 by 12 sheets of gold foil. So we die cut, we will die cut those with these two dies that are in this baggie for Landa. <laughs> and they are these two dies here. They do put some little lines in the image. So it's very detailed, even though you're not stamping it. And on this, the one that has sort of two petals and some leaves, it cuts a couple of holes in it for detail. And then the other one, I don't know the names of these plants, but the other one is just like to two stems with little flowers or petals at the end or leaves I should say okay so we we will pre die cut that and then you're actually going to be making three cards so this will be included in your instructions how we'll give you a piece of paper like this to stamp three cranes if you turn the crane upside down each time you can fit a lot more on a piece than if you um stamp them straight in a row so that'll be part of your instructions. But I just have one scrap for myself today due to um, only making one card for you guys. So I'm going to get Smoky Slate ink. I think that's the only color I'm using on this card. The two greeting choices I have are thank you. Right there and something else that I don't remember. There it is. Congratulations. And because this is a stamp stack, you might want one thank you and two congratulations or whatever. Okay, so for my stamping, let me actually get this card base out of my way. Let me check comments. The one on the left is Ginkgo. I think this was on the left. Janet, thank you. Kim says ginkgo as well. Sorry. I'm always just seeing the most recent comment. And then I look up. I'm like, oh, someone else said it as well. Oh, Martha, I'm sorry. This crane set is, to me, it's really gorgeous. Um, 
but just hearing a crane stamp set like those words doesn't interest me but seeing these gorgeous images of course and it's distinctive so yeah that's what got me okay so they said ginkgo on the left and i'm seeing if anyone said anything else <laughs> okay i'm laughing at the don't stress on the yard work thank goodness it just stopped by the way Okay, so I have a piece of scratch paper here. We have our three smoky slate pieces I told you about. So that's for one card. You have three of those. Then we have our smaller one for our greeting. Let me just do these first. And my sample that I've pre-made says thank you. So where did I put those? Right here. So I'll, I'll stamp congratulations on this one. Tap, tap, tap. This one's going to fill up the space more than thank you did but you'll see how i did thank you on that one congratulations and then on this these three pieces here we're going to make a background with this stamp from the set that is basically a little plant growing again i don't know what type of plant but it's a stem with three solid three or four solid kind of leaves at the end of it and it's a smaller image so we're going to ink it up several times because we will be uh, stamping it multiple times in smoky slate on the smoky slate cardstock as a background i am going to stamp each piece individually um, so I'm just going to turn the stamp different directions, hang it off the edges. I want more of these plants, of these leaves on the end showing. So I'm basically hanging the, the stems off the edge. But really just turn it, you know, twist, turn, go different directions, and it should be look fine on your project now it's all quiet in here <laughs> the, the weed eating or whatever they're doing stopped oh no i, I uh, spoke too soon but i don't know about you guys but when you're talking even if you're in a classroom and you're speaking and then everybody gets too quiet you're like you want them to be quiet when you're talking but if it's too quiet you feel like something's wrong that's how it feels in here right now <laughs> like everybody fell asleep or something okay so smoky slate for the crane this is a scrap this time because we're going to die cut it out so i don't need to be straight but of course if you're doing the three you'll do it like that That crane and smoky slate, that is it. That's where everything is. <laughs> and then I just need to die cut that out and then be ready to assemble. So let me move all this so I can grab the die cut machine and use my large one. This is another great purchase with our starter kit. $120 works awesome comes with everything you need to die cut and emboss I'm going to use plates number one number two and then two number threes which are the clear ones and I have the cut one for the bottom that's I only cut on that one and this clean one for the top that's never been cut on it's just um, got some impressions from the top on it and then I'm just going to angle the camera for a second. So you put your paper on the cutting plate. Position your die. If you want to hold that down with a sticky note, it would just go right across everything so that it doesn't shift. And then you run it through the machine. And I thought this die, anyway, this doesn't really matter, but I thought there was a piece of paper right here that falls out. 
you know, the where you have to poke out the dye, but it doesn't, which I was like, even better. So that little piece is hooked on. So there's no like cleaning out of the dyes with this particular dye. I always love that. Okay, so there's that. Gorgeous little green. See if you guys like the gray as well. <laughs> oh, this is bamboo too, they said. Makes sense. The stamp, I think, is what you're saying, Janet. I need to consult Janet before I do my videos and make myself notes. <laughs> I'm using this today. Can you please name all of these images? By the way, I don't know what kind of flower this is. Just a heads up <laughs> for when I get to those cards. Okay, so let's put this card together. This is actually a catalog case card, but I changed it. So if you look at this card on page 22 on the top right, it's kind of washed out on my video, but... Um, the background is designer paper, which we have designer paper as a background. Then there's three strips of designer paper behind the crane. There's a greeting at the bottom, the die cut out crane, and then the two plants. So I guess that's bamboo and ginkgo, maybe, um, the die cuts. So remember that, and then we'll see my finished card. So always you can use your catalogs as inspiration also. Okay, so this piece of white, I have my designer paper four by five and a fourth. And I was going to just put it on this basic, I'm sorry, smoky slate card base, but I decided it needed a border. So I cut the white one sixteenth, I believe it is, larger. So the white piece is... This is four and a fourth. That'll be four and three eighths. Yes, four and three eighths. And this is, I mean, sorry, this is, no, that's not right. This is four inches. So that's four and one eighth. And then this is, the DSP is five and a fourth. So the other direction, the white is five and three eighths. Four and one eighth, five and three eighths. And then what that gives you is that you get a, skinny border of gray and white and then your designer paper i'm starting to use that technique more slowly on projects which it's not difficult to cut at all but you just have to remember um but it gives i don't know like a fancier finish okay then flat we will attach the three bamboo stamped gray pieces smoky slate but you know it's gray they're going to go over here toward the right and if you don't press hard when you set them on your project you can shift them around if you don't like it but basically they're toward the right there's a little space between each one and they'll end up sort of forming a, a background for your crane so how high or low you want them is up to you. I'm not going to stress if the spacing on top and bottom is even. That doesn't bother me at all. And I don't think anyone looking at your finished card is going to notice that. Um, I approximately put these pieces on straight. <laughs> I call it close enough. And then I'm going to press when I have them where I want them. So there's that. So just pretend that's one piece of paper. You're just putting it on in sections just to, for interest. And then my crane will be on Stampin' Dimensionals. Of course, I'm using minis. One mini fits right there on the face or on the head, whatever the face, I think. Perfect. And then just spread a few around. I don't think it needs, actually, I don't think it needs a ton. This is basically a triangle here, so you can do three. I'm going to leave the feet without dimensionals. But if I wanted to, I could cut those, cut them up and put, skinny dimensionals down there. I don't want to. So the crane will go kind of just like, again, treat this, these three smoky slate pieces like a background. So just kind of center it on there approximately. Then next I'll place my greeting on dimensionals. I think I will use three, but this middle one, 
I'm going to put at the very bottom just to avoid those feet. Let's see if I did that. It's okay. Um, and the greeting I'm placing basically centered on this smoky slate cardstock left to right and hanging off the bottom of it. And then just tuck these gold plants, ginkgo, um, <laughs> bamboo. I'm just going to use my silicone craft sheet, add some adhesive to the large leaves. To me, that's all that needs it because, um, you know, it's not going to come apart. And I'll tuck the ginkgo one over here under the greeting on the right side and this probably bamboo one over here on the left side. So pretty simple, really. I just think it's so pretty, all that gold and then the gray. I just love it. And then on my original, I added my clear polished dots, which they call very vanilla. Um, I added a large and a small to the left of the greeting. On this other one, I probably could still do that. Maybe I will. I was going to say, I actually just noticed when I was showing you guys that Stampin' Up! has three polished dots up on that top left of that smoky slate piece basically the top left one so you can play around with that as well but um grab my take your pick tool there's not a take your pick tool in this tub let me grab one that for them sorry i slammed that drawer um okay so but i think i'll let me try it the same I'm off screen. I think that'll work. But you could put some up there instead or in addition if you wanted. And that is it. That's card number two for stamp -a stack this month. Plus you can win these cards. Have a chance to win them if you comment on the video and or share and comment that you shared. <laughs> Cindy's like, I like this card, uh, this set more than um, when you first saw it. Yes. And I know that gold is striking, Jean. I agree. Um, what was I going to? Oh, Jean, I love that comment. Good enough is good enough. <clears throat> totally agree, Jean. It's close enough, all that stuff. Def I'm definitely less of a perfectionist than I used to be. With stamping okay two more cards so this next one is my other maybe my favorite <laughs> this one is a crumb cake card base five and a half eight and a half let me go ahead and fold it because this is my famous fancy famous that i like it a lot um fancy fun fold which is fold it in half then fold the front all the way back to the left in half Um, so then I have a piece of white to go inside. That's four by five and a fourth. Then I have a piece of the designer paper. This is the last one I showed earlier. It's actually the back of that gold crane we just used. And the back is the crumb cake with just lots of really pretty, dainty flowers and butterflies and leaves. It's like growing on vines kind of. Um, the flowers are Calypso Coral and Crumb Cake, and then the butterflies and stems are Soft Succulent. So that is one and seven eighths by five and a fourth. You can tell I didn't pay, a, I didn't care what direction my paper was going, and I think it's going to look fine. So the butterflies are kind of going sideways, but I think it's totally fine. And then I have a pre-die cut. Calypso Coral Scalloped Rectangle from my favorite dies in the annual catalog, Scalloped Contours dies. These are carrying over to the new catalog, but not at a bundle price. So there is a stamp set you can bundle this with. And, oh, the die is missing, but I was like, uh -oh, there's a die not in there, but it's in this bag. This is the Landa baggie. Um, 
So there's the one I used, which is the third from the largest. Almost put it back in the thing. Anyway, um, so we pre we will pre die cut that for you from Calypso Coral. Then what's going to go in there is this gorgeous mother of pearl paper instead of just some basic white like I would normally do. So this piece is two inches by three and one fourth. And that will go in the middle of that rectangle. This is a land, a portrait card, portrait cell. Then I have a scrap of white to stamp this flower on. And I'm going to use the ribbon and of course the little polished dots on this card. I hid the ribbon though. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this card's greeting, I have sending a thousand well wishes on your special day or may luck, I mean, sorry, much luck and good fortune. Those are both from Crane of Fortune. Okay, so we're going to stamp on the four by five and a fourth white and the scrap of white. I just want to move this out of my way. So this scrap of white is just, or similar to the crane, you're going to be making three. So if you take this class, we'll give you one piece of white with these instructions and you'll stamp the three flowers on there. I don't think they save you as much space as the crane does, but hey, like you might be able to stamp them straight and I mean all one direction and still fit them on there. But I didn't test both due to time constraints. <laughs> so there we go. So Calypso Coral, another color in this designer paper. I'm going to stamp this gorgeous flower. It's so pretty. It's basically, it's a really large flower image with a stem, two flowers, like two fully bloomed flowers and then like some little leaves and buds coming out as well but it's distinctive so it's got the light and dark it's just gorgeous um I'll stamp that in calypso coral on this piece to die cut out so just stay within the lines and then I'm going to also put it down in the bottom right hand corner of this four by five and fourth white portrait, but stamped off. So I'm going to stamp it on scratch paper first and then just stamp the top left of it. So hang the bottom right off onto scratch paper. So pretty. And then my greeting will be right in the center of this, like toward the top, but center. So I'm going to use much luck and good fortune. Tap, tap, tap. Don't rock. Don't press hard. I'm far away from this, so if it's crooked, we'll, we will blame that. Not too bad. And I stamped that in Calypso Coral. So this card, all the ink is Calypso Coral. And then I just need to die cut out this flower and put the card together. So here's the die. Where did I put that? Oh, good. I'll just cut it off screen to save y'all a second, but of course it aligns just like that. So let me bring this over to my machine and die cut. Yeah, I think this stamp set is worth purchasing if only for this flower. <laughs> but yeah, that's just me. Um, so there it is, gorgeous. No excess pieces, also bonus. And I think we're just ready to assemble. I'm reading a note I have to myself over here, which I do want to remember to tell you, but at the time. Okay, so I'm going to assemble. I'll, I will attach the inside piece. So, of course, the reason I stamped in that bottom right corner is so that that will show when the card is closed since it's half. Then I will attach the Mother of Pearl flat to the Calypso Coral rectangle, scalloped rectangle. 
then I'm going to add a ribbon to the back of this flower. And so my instructions are going to tell you to cut, because you'll get your own ribbon, two pieces of ribbon that are four and one fourth inches each. And I like to cut, for the technique I'm doing, I like to cut one end at an angle and one straight. They can both be at an angle, but I'm weird. And I like one end angled and one straight. And then I'll just use that piece as a guide. So you need two that are about four and one fourth inches. And what I'm gonna make sure you know is that if you were to do this the traditional way, which I'll demonstrate for you, you would use 13 and a half inches of ribbon instead of what, nine or whatever. 13 and a half. I don't like that way. <laughs> but I'm going to keep that because it's part of my notes. Okay, so we have the two ribbons. We are going to, we want the ribbon coming out the back of this flower on the top right and the bottom left. So I need to memorize where that is and place some of my tape runner adhesive top right and bottom left. But on the back side, it's opposite. So just pay attention. And then you fold the ribbon in. Uh, back and forth in your hands. So I'm, you can do this anyway and it'll look fine, but if you want a description, I'm holding it where the pointy end, the angled end is sticking out of my thumb here. And then I'm going to bend up the bottom and then the piece that's sticking all the way up to the top, bend that back down. So I've made a ribbon shape. It folds back and forth. Then I'm going to hold that and keep looking at it from the, this is how I want it on my card, from the front and turn my flower over to the front and smush that ribbon into the adhesive I placed on there. I always see people doing this from the back, but I'm like, but it's gonna, you don't know how it's gonna look on the front of your card and you may end up having to reposition it, which you still might have to, but even more so because you are literally doing it from the back where you don't know what's going on. Now, sometimes when I do this, I'll need to go back sometimes, depending on how the ribbon is spread apart and all that, and add a little adhesive to keep it to hold that position. Okay, then the next one, you basically fold your ribbon the same way, but you're going to turn it, you'll end up turning it, it'll be obvious, because you want it coming out of the bottom left. But you fold it the same exact way. Now this one is, see how that's poking out a little bit more? That's what I mean about maybe just add a little extra adhesive. It does not, you don't need much because we're gonna secure this with Stampin' Dimensionals. And if you don't like this, you pull it off and reposition it. So pretty easy there. Um, what a lot of people do is they'll just put adhesive on the back and they start folding their ribbon, like a full piece of ribbon like this. Same effect, way, way, way more ribbon. It's sticking, gets used. Okay, all right, good. <laughs> I'm imagining everybody shaking their head in the room. Okay, so I will add Stampin' Dimensionals to the back now of this flower. Of course, always overlapping the ribbon to secure it better. I'm telling y'all how sticky this stamp and seal is and then i just added about three more stamp and dimensionals one on each end and one in the center of the flower and then just place the flower on this rectangle let me go ahead and attach my one and seven eighths by five and a fourth designer paper to the left front flap of my card base and then i will attach this flower piece with dimensionals only to the left side. So I like to flip it over top to bottom, the rectangle, and align it exactly left to right where I want it on my card so that I can use that as a guide as to where to put these dimensionals on that section. And then I can finish putting dimensionals on the other side, the, the next section of the same side, which is the left side. 
Um, I just use six dimensionals, three and three, mini. And then that just goes, I'm trying to get that off my finger now. That just goes on your card front. Ooh, ah, much luck and good fortune. And then I just added these Calypso coral dots. <laughs> now that I know they're real color. Um, I added three of those to this top right white section that's actually the inside of the card. So a large Calypso coral and a couple of small ones. And that will finish off your card. My second card, the one I pre-made, has sending a thousand well wishes on your special day. I do think this will make a really pretty wedding card or graduation even. That could be a graduation saying, and I'm sure many other occasions as well. So there's that third one. My second or first favorite. <laughs> hey, Gian, thanks for sharing. Ramona, thank you. I see you on YouTube. Can you stamp the mother of pearl paper? Good question. Janet, it's a chrysanthemum. Thank you, Janet. I knew she would know. <laughs> Gian says, love the ribbon tip. Awesome. Brenda, thank you. Good to see you here. I know I, this suite is so elegant, Brenda. Sorry, I'm trying to hold these, but look at the comments. I know uh, Pat says, love this suite, didn't at first. Um, I know that ribbon's pretty too, and it's carrying over. Definitely a wedding card, Jean says. Thank you, Kim. Um, so what was the question? Can you stamp on Mother of Pearl? I can't remember if we tested that before. But let me grab a scrap of it here since I have some scraps right here. Uh, I am quite sure you could with stays on ink for sure. Because um, stays on is for plastic, metal, glass. It's a solvent based ink. Um, regular ink. It's weird because I feel like I did test it one time, but I can't remember. Um, regular Stampin' Up! ink, which is water-based, I don't know because this is a very slick surface. So we're going to set this aside and hopefully I'll remember to test it. It might need heat setting and then it would work, but I just obviously don't know right now offhand because I haven't tested it. Again, though, if you have stays on ink, you should for sure be able to do it with stays on because that dries on glass, metal, plastic, etc. Um, so who knows? Okay. I'm going to make one more card. I want to show or remind you that, um, you can get the recipe cards for all four of these cards on my blog today. Uh, a little bit after this video finishes, I will make the blog post live and it, what it is, it just has the measurements and the supplies I used, the main supplies. Now on the blog post, I also list every supply, the cardstock, the ink, you know, the st whatever, all of it, the stamp and seal, everything at the bottom of the blog post. But if you want a printable recipe card with just the ingredients and the measurements, you can get that on my blog for free. Um, and this was created with my stamp and stuff, which is a site that I offer. Um, it also can keep your inventory, so it's for customers and demonstrators, but that's part of the service. Okay, so don't forget about those recipe cards. Now, last card, we have a Calypso Coral card base, five and a half, eight and a half. Another piece of designer paper, of course. Now, this is a plant, uh, again, that I don't know the name of, but it's like the wispy little white things that you see blowing around sometimes in the wind. I don't know if that's specifically what these are, but that's what these look like. Um, so this designer paper is smoky slate, distressed background, and then it has the stems of these plants are gold foil, and then the little white wispy things, like little fan looking plants. So really pretty. The backside is just a nice Calypso coral with white uh, abstract background. Um, this card is also portrait. So it's, um, this piece is five, four inches by five and a fourth, four by five and a fourth. Then 
I have a piece of the designer paper where I cut out loosely around one of the flowers and I'll grab that sheet and show y'all. I also pre stamped and die cut the crane in smoky slate. So that will be exactly like the first card I did that on where if you're taking the class, you'll do three on one sheet because you're making three cards. You'll die cut. I, these dots are telling you to hand cut around that, then die cut them out. It's much easier. Trust me. Um, cut on dotted lines, then die cut out. But anyway, I pre did that because you already saw me do that today. Then I have a strip of the mother of pearl, which I will be, I'll give you the measurement we'll be using on this card. And last but not least, a pre die cut layering circle in basic white. And then the next size up scallop circle in evening evergreen to map behind that. So I'll measure those as well. That's the layering circles dies. Okay, so um, I'm like, what should I do first? Let me fold the card base in half. I obviously haven't even typed up my instructions for this. They usually get typed up the week of the event, the in-person event, and then emailed out that Friday of that week. Okay, so I'm going to stamp on this white circle. I wanted to give you that measurement. It's the one and seven eighths inch circle from layering circles dies. Also real quick, I'll just say the mother of pearl is one and a half by four inches. It's going to go, go across the center of our card. Um, so let me do about that stamping first and then I'll tell you about these flowers. I need scratch paper. I need the flower <clears throat> and Calypso coral ink. So this, we are stamping or inking up the large chrysanthemum <laughs> in Calypso Coral, stamping off on scratch paper, and then stamping just the main big flower portion on that circle. Just to fill the whole thing, kind of like a background. And then we'll put our greeting on there. So your two choices there, we have to celebrate this. I'm going to check something as well. That, mm, that would be a tight fit. Uh, we have to celebrate this. So I didn't think about this because it's a long story. Too boring for me to explain to y'all. But I actually have four stamps that are labeled evergreen, which means in the class you're free to stamp them in evergreen. <laughs> so if they fit, you can substitute those on all four of them on this card or this card, right? Cause it's evergreen ink. My ink pad won't get, we won't get evergreen on a coral pad or whatever. So there you go. Um, but I had said we have to celebrate this, which I think is really cute and all day your way, which is just such a cool greeting for lots of things, right? You want to spend time with one of your children or niece, nephew, etc. And so it's their day, but also, of course, a birthday, anniversary, like whatever. It's a really cool greeting, I think. So all day your way. Boom. But there you go. Four choices there. Those are all from the heart, happy and heartfelt. Get some stuff out of the way since we're on the last card. And then... All that's left since, of course, we would stamp and cut out, cut out our crane. So when I made my sample for this card, I hand cut out this flower. I had already previously checked because I was like, it would be really cool if we could die cut out the crane from the designer paper and um, put it on a card. Then I checked and these cranes on this designer paper do not match the die. They're just different. So that made me assume, which you're not supposed to do, that nothing would match these dies. <laughs> um, and there aren't really any other images on this paper that you would think would match a die, I don't think. I still could be wrong, but I don't think there's like the other plants we've talked about in the right shapes. But 
So long story short, I hand cut out the flower. Then for some reason, I think I was, I think it's when I went to stamp this greeting, the flower on here. I was like, well, that is shaped a lot like this. Let me just pull out the die and see. <laughs> it does fit. So you can die cut out this flower with the die. And so I will be giving a tip since you die cut, I mean, since you cut your own designer paper for these classes. Uh, I've actually taken a photo of this and circled on the photo, but I would recommend doing this one, this one, and this one, because some of these are cut off at the edges for your three cards. But before that, I would cut at five and one fourth inches here to give me this solid piece. I can make three cards out of it. I can do whatever I want with it. Then, because you don't want to accidentally hand cut down below your five and a fourth inch line. That is just a tip to save paper for you guys. So I would cut off five and a fourth, and then I would have these three to use on my card. Of course, you can use these other loose flowers, uh, hand cut those out and make some gorgeous stuff. You can even use the ones that are hanging off the edge. You just cover that with like you could put two on a card and you cover up that partial section. Same here. Anyway, I hope that's a helpful tip. That'll be in my instructions for the class. There's a photo and all. But long story short, fits the die. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to go die cut this out, but my first sample is hand cut out, which was kind of annoying. So I'm glad the die fits it. We, uh, we were doing our awesome otters event and we did have to hand cut out a lot of stuff on that class. And Cindy was like, I think I've flunked hand cutting in kindergarten, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. Of course, I was like, just practice, but yeah. I don't enjoy hand cutting stuff out. I just deal with it when I have to do it. Okay, so of course I would loosely cut around the image first um, to get it off the designer paper sheet, then die cut it out, and you can see what fell off here. Okay, so there's that. Now let's put this one together. This is kind of a I don't know if it's collage but it's more collage than what I usually make. All right, I'm scared to touch this, but this ink does look wet to me, Martha. So I'm going to touch it. Smear, smear, smear. So then you would want to test if heat setting, and if not, you could heat emboss. Pour some clear powder on top of that and heat it to set any ink that didn't dry. So that would be my recommendation without testing further is either heat emboss with regular ink because it's staying wet on there. That's always the problem with heat embossing. You need your ink to be wet. Heat emboss with clear or try heat setting. And it may work. Heat setting works on some materials and, and doesn't work on others. So hopefully that's helpful. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that ink is dry on my finger. I'm going to attach my strip of Mother of Pearl to <laughs> Chris. Chris, I might push Chris over the edge to get this set. And we have until the end of April, basically, that it won't be Wild Supplies Last. If, that, if I said that correctly, it will not be Wild Supplies Last until sometime in May when Stampin' Up! tells us they're giving us the list and that info may be out there. I don't know. Okay. So I attached the circle to the scallop circle evening evergreen, which is we're picking up the evening evergreen from our designer paper flowers. Then that's going to kind of go down here on my bottom left. The next layer I want to add is my crane. Looking for my Chris, you could take this class from me and check out the tub and then really test and see if you want. <laughs> if you want it. Okay, sorry, that was just a sh shameless plug. Um, I used my silicone craft sheet to add adhesive to the crane. And it's going to be, I'm really looking at the nose, the beak, and the wing to be about, about a half inch or so from the left and top edges. That's about where I want the crane. Then the flowers from the designer paper will be on dimensionals. 
I love the back of this designer paper. It's like just distressed gold and um, I mean, I'm sorry, distressed smoky slate and then gray, sorry, gold splatters. The yard work is back. It's literally throwing me off. <laughs> Okay, I'm adding five dimensionals to this flower because it's thinner designer paper and it's kind of floating out here in the middle. I want it to stay popped up. So the flower is going to cover part of the crane and definitely cover up the feet. I just want to hide the legs, basically. So I guess you could mess that up and not even care. Then my greeting will go down here on the bottom left on dimensionals as well. And then so I'm keeping it within the limits of the designer paper, not going outside those edges, but almost to the edge, almost to the end of the that paper. Then with my satin, my soft succulent satin, I'm going to make a bow. So I'll do a bunny ear bow. Two bunny ears, leave it on the roll. Lots of space in between the two bunny ears, an ear in each hand. All the ribbon is flat. It's never been twisted. All my fingers are pointing at me. Then I take my right hand, my right loop, and go over the left one, but don't really let anything go yet. Then immediately push that same right loop down into the rabbit hole and pull both loops. And it won't look super cute, but you will adjust it and then it will. So you just modify the loops, modify the tails until it's the size and shape that you want. And I will trim. I have a gorgeous bow. I think someone commented earlier how pretty this ribbon is. Definitely agree. Um, mini glue dot, which actually will be in the box with the dimensionals, but I have my own here. And this bow goes below the flowers. Oh, oh, I forgot, I tucked it under the greeting on purpose. Oh darn, hopefully I'll type my directions correctly. I'm gonna peel this greeting up because I didn't want the ribbon covering up my greeting. So I purposely put the ribbon on first and then sort of attached that top left loose end of the bow underneath the greeting. That way it just doesn't cover up my words. And then I just need, well, I need to attach that to my card base and add some polished dots and then that card will be finished. So this is the stamp -a stack class. Also, you can just win these cards today by commenting on the video on YouTube or Facebook um, by within a couple of weeks. So even if you're watching replay, that's fine. If you share the video, make sure you comment that you shared. So we'll enter you again. I'm going to use my take your pick tool and add three of the clear dots. I actually just used three small and they are right there on the mother of pearl to the left here. And that is that card. The first one that I made originally has, we have to celebrate this, which is a, in size, it's slightly larger. So it fills that space a little more. So, you know, you may, you may like that. Who knows? Um, you know, better, I should say. <laughs> and let me, put these cards out for you guys and um, catch up on comments. But thank you for watching today as usual. Um, I appreciate you guys. If you didn't see my video yesterday, please feel free to go check that out and see lots of new product coming out in the new catalog, which you can purchase from May 3rd or now if you get our starter kit. Um, so let me know if you have any questions on that. This class actually makes 12 cards. So if you're interested in the class, 
let me know. <laughs> um, thank you, Susan. Thanks, Jean, about the ribbon tip. You are welcome. Cindy, no problem catching replay. <laughs> Chris, I am shameless, right? Definitely. No problem, Martha. I mean, it's a good question. I can't remember. I do feel like I did it before, but I don't remember the situation where, when, why. But she's saying um, for checking on, can you stamp on that mother of pearl? And uh, yeah, it's a white fringe tree. Had to look it up. Japanese. Um, that's what Janet said. So that's this thing. Um, I know we have something here. I know it's obviously not the same plant, but it's like white and they blow around in the wind and they're probably causing allergies or something. <laughs> um, awesome. Thank you, Kadra. I was going to say Faith, Faith Inc. Spired Creations. Kadra. <laughs> Thank you. Um, fairy Dusters. Oh, yeah, that sounds right. Also, Kim, Fairy Dusters. Awesome. Well, thank you guys very much. I'm glad you like the cards. Facebook user, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Jocelyn. Um, Lorraine, thank you. Oh, see, it's so weird. I can see Della, thank you, um, on my iPad. Pat, thank you very much. Um, anyway, I can see some comments on my iPad, some comments on my computer and then probably others I can't even see yet but thank you Sandy thanks Stella all right y'all have a great day I should be back on live next week I don't know what I'll be showing but maybe maybe the cactus cutie set or maybe something else and any questions about any of my stuff let me know you can always join my email newsletter my VIP Facebook group etc which will all be updated and in the link to this video in the description of this video on both platforms in a little bit today. All right. Have a great day. I will see y'all later. Bye.